Hello everybody, Fat Dino here, and today I'm gonna recreate Google Chrome Dinosaur game using Unreal Engine 4. Two dinosaurs are better than one, they say, right? Let's get started. First things first, we need a landscape. For now, I'll just create a huge piece of flat landscape and make a running dinosaur. So technically there will be an end of the game since we have finite world, but actually you'll probably never get so far to see it. Probably. Anyway, here is our world. And now it's time for dinosaur. If you guys curious about how dinosaur's reproduction works, then here it is. And now we should animate our beautiful dinosaur. To animate character in Unreal Engine 4, you should create a finite deterministic automaton. Sounds scary, right? However, it's just a number of states with transitions between them. Like if you have state run and state jump, you should have a transition from run to jump when player presses spacebar, and reverse transition when character lands. We'll have only one state for now, so my song will just run forever. Now if we press play button, we'll see literally nothing, cause I forgot to set up player's camera. In Unreal Engine 4 there is a camera component that defines the way players see the world. After setting it up, we should be able to see our dinosaur character. Ok, it's cool, but now I wanna make him run. Ok, it's cool, but now I wanna make him jump. However, I wanna adjust some settings so our dinosaur will jump more like real-world dinosaur. I have no idea how real-world dinosaurs jump though. I guess something like that. Let's add jump animation. I'm gonna add new state in automaton and add new condition on the transition. Let's see what we have done. Oh god. Hope he's okay. That's kind of better, but soon. Okay, I'm gonna fix it really quick. If you mind, I wanna add three state instead of one. Start jump, middle jump, and end jump. So we'll have separate animations when dinosaurs start jumping and when he lands. I like it, so I leave it. A little bit magic here, and we have beautiful desert. Now I'm gonna create the cactus. I also wanna add some little happy friends to our cactus, so he'll not be alone in the desert. Happy little flower over here. And happy little skull over there. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Now let's set cactuses generation. So if dinosaur get over one sheet, the next one will immediately appear in front of him. Now let's test it. I don't know what the f is going on though. I fix it so we can test it once more. I'm ready for rain sh** right now. Yeah, it's good. I'll increase distance between them and also make dinosaur die when he touch the cactus further. But now I wanna add the mega cactus. It is actually just three simple cactuses in a row. I'm gonna choose should simple or mega cactuses be spawned randomly. And looks like I broke something. Never mind.
Now I want to increase dinosaur speed over time. Works perfect. And I guess it is a time to add death and game over screen to the game. So here is a game over screen in Google Chrome. And here is a game over screen in my version. Something is missing, right? Now I want to implement this, but firstly I need to set up hitbox. After that, we should pause the game and show a game over screen if dinosaur hits an obstacle. Cool. Let's implement game restart. So if player presses spacebar when he's dead, the game restarts. What a f So it's kinda works. I've also added idle state to Dinosaur's animation automaton. It looks like this. And it doesn't work unfortunately. Now we are good, but there is one thing left to be implemented. Ok, maybe not one thing, but anyway. Pterodactyls, my flying brothers. I don't have pterodactyl model though, but I have this raven, or whatever it is. So let's create a pterodactyl and spawn them among these cactuses. Yep, we have pterodactyls. Let's make them fly. I mean fly, not fall. That's better. And finally we wanna make pterodactyls spawn instead of some cactuses, and not on the top of them. Now I wanna learn my son how to bend down to avoid dishonest death from pterodactyls. Let's test what we have done. Oh. Finally, it f***ing works. Now I wanna adjust the camera so it will stay still vertically, even when dinosaur jumps. Finally, our gameplay is ready, and all that remains is to bring a little bit of beauty to the table. Yeah. To play a sound in Unreal Legend 4, you just need to call a function in appropriate moment. So it's kind of easy. Now I wanna add day and night cycle, just like in original game. And we actually need only two function calls to make it happen. Look at this. 
Next in the list, landscape. Look at these gorgeous dunes. And finally, I've added some little details like small plants, bones and other little happy things which should be in any self-respecting desert. Guess I'm not so good at this game. However, you can download it by clicking link in the description and you probably will have a better score. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You could also follow me on Twitter to see some insight of new videos. See you next time!